in WhatsApp, when you send a message to someone and they read it, the check mark on your device becomes blue. This indicates that the recipient has opened their message and we can know whether the recipient is ignoring you or not. But for emails, you may think that that's not the case. Well, yeah, you're right. Uh, you can't really tell whether the, if you're, if you're sending a normal email, you can't really tell whether the, um, recipient has opened the message or not because there's no, the protocol doesn't have any definition for this. Sorry about that. Yeah, the protocol doesn't have any definition for this unless you use some kind of extension like mail track. So how does mail tracking work? One of the methods for tracking email is called pixel tracking. Now the reason why it's called pixel tracking is uh, in, the, the, in the HTML of the email, what the user will do or what the extension will do is insert a very tiny image a few pixels wide, maybe even a single pixel, and that email, that that image, will be hosted on some server. And when when you open the email on the email client, your email will parse the HTML, and when it sees that there's an image tag here which points to that server, if the email client will make a request to that e that server and try to get the e that try to get the image, and during that process, the server which can be hosted by you will record like will record stuff like IP address and whatnot and maybe the time which the email was open and from that that is one way of tracking uh, emails and you may not even know that you're being tracked if you do like if you do it yourself like make your own service for this so I want to show you a working example of this like a proof of concept not the best solution because you know running it on a local server, but it's a good proof of concept to show you how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a JavaScript, uh, a JavaScript HTTP server. So I'll create a new initialize a project and I'll install the express module, which is a HTTP library. Then I'll create a new file. So I'll write some boilerplate boilerplate code code to to create an HTTP server, and I'll create an endpoint called track. It can be called anything. I can't type today. And the the endpoint doesn't even need to return an image. It can just return a 404 error and it will still work just fine. Make an end. And I'll start a listen on 8080. And I'll be like, server is. Uh, okay. So if I debug this code right here, and you, as you can see, the server is running. Now I'm going to go over and get my phone real quick. And since my phone is on the same LAN as my computer, if I type in the local address of my computer on my phone and go to this, go to this track endpoint, I'll do that right now. Oh, before I do that, I should set a breakpoint here, which means that if the code reaches this point, it will pause the program. So, I'm going to I'm going to open the address on my phone in 3 2 1 and now the breakpoint has been triggered and here now I can inspect stuff about the request so I can go open the client object and see maybe the maybe the remote the remote address and as you can see this is actually the local IP address of my phone and there's a lot more information and this is the general like the gen how it generally works. So how can we like implement this concept in emails? So, well, I'm gonna stop the server. What we can do is actually let's create let's create an HTML file first. And if we think about it, emails are just HTML files that are that are being sent over the SMTB protocol. So internally, you can just 
you can just modify the HTML code to point towards your your supposed endpoint. And if I go over to Gmail and I type an email here, I'll send it to myself and I'll have hello world. Now, Gmail doesn't actually really let you um, type HTML directly into the Gmail window. But what you can do is, I'll give it some formatting first. What you can do is, if I open developer tools, and I'll use the element picker tool to pick up the this hello world. And you can see it points to a, a division tag, and it has the um, editable tag or the editable attribute on and inside the, I have my hello world. Well, if I edit the HTML, I can paste my image tag and you see now it has a, it has a image element in it. And this is pointing to my quote unquote HTTP server that is actually running on my computer. Now I'll send it. And it gets sent. Now, if I run my server again, the server is running. I'll go to my email client. Okay, there you go. There's the email I sent. Now, as soon as I, is it running though? Yeah, okay, as soon as I click on this email, boom, the, tr the breakpoint gets triggered. And now I can inspect everything about the request, you know, maybe the remote address. The remote address should actually, um, shouldn't tell me much because the server is on the same computer as the recipient. So yeah, I should just say this, which is which means the local address. But if you like maybe run, uh, run some kind of server on, you know, on over the internet and you can send emails, with this concept, you can easily track. Um, you can easily track uh, whether emails are opened or not. And as you can see, you can't really tell. Like, there's no like you know sent with mail track extension or whatnot. You can't really tell this email is being tracked. But reality, in reality, it is. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.